Hey guys, welcome back. Let's talk about comb filtering. So I'm going to try not to talk for too long here, so I hopefully don't end up with hours of editing to do here in the middle of the night. I keep trying to do shorty videos every other week, but then I accidentally talk for too long and I make it a regular video. So I guess you guys benefit from that, but I've got other work to do too, so I really should be making short videos every other week. So with that said, that's what I'm going to try to do today. Okay, so this is continuing along the theme of last week's video on phase issues in audio. So if you have not seen that, you might wanna go watch that first because we will be building on concepts that we discussed in that video. So I'll put a card up here on the screen for you guys so you can check out that video. So basically, comb filtering is a type of phasing that can happen. And I've mostly seen it and talked about it using the term comb filtering with other audio people through my experience in live sound and film, mostly live sound. And all comb filtering is, is the EQ filtering that arises when you have two signals that are out of phase. It's the same exact thing that we listened to in last week's video when we were talking about how the out of phase audio had a different frequency balance than the in phase audio. It's just what happens when two signals are out of phase and so you get some constructive interference and some destructive interference. The frequencies in your two or more audio waveforms can either augment or cancel each other out. And that's all comb filtering is. But for some reason, I don't hear studio engineers talking about it using that specific term as much as I hear live sound and film people using it. But maybe you've heard studio people using this term. I don't know, let me know in the comments below if you've had a similar or different experience in that regard. Okay, so I'm just gonna use some good old fashioned stock photos to help me illustrate this concept really quickly. And that's gonna be it for today's video. So when we're talking about actors on stage in a live sound context or on a film set, we often have them wearing a lavalier mic, which is also called a lav mic. And these are just the wireless personal microphones that we attach to the actor, sometimes along their jawline using an earpiece or attached to their clothes near the chest or neckline, or sometimes run along the head underneath like a wig or headpiece and then poking out near the top center of their forehead. These mics are great and can be instrumental in getting a decent sound, but sometimes it can be a problem because the actors get too close together. So for example, when actors hug, and I hear comb filtering all the time in live shows or on TV shows when two characters hug or otherwise greet each other up close, and I think it tends to be left in on reality shows the most, but I heard it on the HBO show Succession the other day, and I was pretty surprised that they didn't ADR that or something. But anyway, two characters wearing lav mics get close to each other. What happens is the sound of each character speaking, or otherwise making their actor noises, is gonna bleed into the other character's lav mic. So once you have this bleed, you're gonna get comb filtering because the bleed from each character speaking is reaching the microphone slightly after the same sound reaches the intended character's microphone, if that makes sense. Then you get the same filtering, so changes in the frequency balance that we talked about in last week's video. And there you have it, comb filtering. And you know, since the signal of a character speaking is not something steady or constant like an air conditioning hum or room noise, it can be really tough to remove from the signal. So you're often stuck with that comb filtering effect. When I was doing live sound, if I had enough time and didn't risk having a microphone cut while that character was speaking or about to speak, I would often mute or reduce the levels of whoever was not talking during this type of interaction to avoid the comb filtering effect. But that's not always something you can safely do. So next time you're out at a live show, or you're watching TV, keep an ear out for this effect. You'll probably start to notice it and now you'll know why it happens. So that's it, thanks for watching guys. I hope you found some of this helpful and as always, if you like this video, please check out my other videos or do all those things that people on YouTube love like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you wanna support my channel more directly, I do have a Patreon at patreon.com slash noise, and my patrons get access to additional content, plus the pride of knowing that you're keeping my channel going for anyone that needs this type of information. And that's about it. I come out with new videos every Wednesday, and thank you for watching. I don't know what the formula is.